if we're already getting cases of you know, people having psychotic breaks because the AI is telling them about a prime number theory or quantum physics, we're already getting committed suicides, we're already getting kids that are outsourcing their, their homework to ChatGPT rather than using it as a tutor, right. we're already getting evidence of AI uncontrollability, all of this is driven by the incentive of the race to roll out and market dominance. And the reason that we can, right. we can stop this if we recognize that this is not safe for anybody. No one on planet Earth wants this outcome of all the wealth concentrated in a handful of people and building AI systems that could actually go rogue. Just put to sum it up, we are building the most powerful, inscrutable, uncontrollable technology that we have ever invented mm -hmm. that's already demonstrating the rogue behaviors that we thought only existed in bad sci-fi movies. Right. We're releasing it faster than we've deployed any other technology in history and under the maximum incentive to cut corners on safety. There's a word for this that I want everyone to just know, which is, this is insane. I this thought is, you were gonna say awesome for a second. <laughs> that if, if we can just recognize that this is an insane way to roll out this technology, and I want, none of this is okay. We have to stop pretending that this is normal. Right. This is not normal. This does not have to be our destiny. We have come together before and we had a technology, we had nuclear weapons. We could have just said, that we're gonna live in a world, once we, once we build them, oh, this is just inevitable. 190 countries are gonna have nuclear weapons and we're just gonna have nuclear war. Right. We didn't do that. We said, let's work really hard and only nine countries have nuclear weapons. <laughs> Notice Reasonable. that we only worked on it after we used them. <laughs> That's true. The United States was like, That's people true. shouldn't have this. But, but just hear me out for a moment. <laughs> but with the Montreal Protocol, we, we, there was an ozone hole in the ozone layer. It was right. actually presenting an existential threat to the atmosphere. We could have just rolled back and said, well, I guess this is inevitable. I guess we're yeah, just yeah, going yeah. out. We're all getting no, skin what cancer. You're saying